I've mentioned the term the edge of the abyss. What exactly do I mean by that? Well, uh, if we think of the New Testament and the story of Jesus, we know that as he sets his face towards Jerusalem, the crowds come out to greet him and they call him Lord. And it's as if he's entering the city and will become the Lord of all the city's structures, the Lord of the institutions of the city. Of course, that uh, is a great threat to the established authorities, and they're not going to allow that to happen for one moment. But the crowds are giving him that title of Lord as if he were going to become the Lord of structure. And by taking that particular course of action that he does, he's setting his face towards the abyss, the abyss of death. Now, Urban T. Holmes considers that to truly image, to wander between the two modes of perception, the two hemispheres of the brain, is to experience a quality of consciousness which is aware that it must end. In other words, we have knowledge of our own death. And to go to the edge of the abyss is to place one's life as if you are putting it into the hand of trust. If you're in the anti-structure, whether the jungle, the desert, uh, the oceans, whilst they're roaring in the midst of a fierce storm, in any respect, you are brought to the edge of the abyss. And it's symbolically represented by the loss of meaning. The edge of the abyss is the loss of our meaning.